Hey, the Yankees just made a trade. Hey guys, I hope you are having a stupendous day today. If you love the Yankees and you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe, especially if you want to be kept up to date with the latest in New York Yankee news or just for plain old New York Yankee discussion. So the Yankees just made their first trade of the offseason. If you guys did not know, tonight is the MLB tender deadline. So that means whoever doesn't have a contract, you got you to gotta offer them a little something, something. And the Yankees most likely tonight were going to non-tender Mr. Jake Bowers. So the Yankees, instead of doing that, they found a home for him. They sent Jake Bowers over to the Milwaukee Brewers. Now, Bowers for the Yankees last season, eh, what can you do, right? 202 batting average, 12 home runs, 30 RBI, left-handed bat, 693 OPS to finish out the year in 84 games for the Yankees. National first baseman played most of his time over there in the outfield for us. Listen, it is what it is, right? Bowers was what he was. He looked very good in the beginning, but then he tailed down. He fell off a little bit. Wish him luck in Milwaukee. But the Yankees got two prospects back. I kind of like the deal. The, the, we're going to start off with Jace Avina, outfield prospect, 20 years old. A top 30 prospect for the Milwaukee Brewers. Last year, Mr. Avina, right-handed bat in low A, hit 249, 14 home runs with an 869 OPS. Top 30 prospect for Milwaukee. Man, I would have just been happy with that. But the Yankees also got another young outfield prospect. He goes by the name of Brian Sanchez, Venezuelan last year. 33 games down there, rookie ball for Milwaukee. Mr. Sanchez hit 297, 414 on base percentage with an 860 OPS. The kid's 6'3", 170 pounds. He didn't have a home run, but I assume he's going to bulk up a little bit as he gets older. Only he just turned 19. He just turned 19 years old. Left-handed bat, by the way. So listen, he'll be in the system for a little bit. Same with the Vina, but it's better to get these two pieces that you could actually do something with than just cutting Jake Bowers and call it a day. So I'm glad the Yankees were able to get at least something. We're able to squeeze the orange for the juice, for the little juice that it had. They were able to do it, and they did it. So hats off to Brian Cashman for that. Jay Savina. Former top 30 prospect for the Milwaukee Brewers. I'm not sure where, he, where he's going to fall in the Yankee system, but 20 years old, outfielder, 14 home runs, 869 OPS last year in low A. Brian Sanchez, 297 batting average in 33 games down there. Rookie ball, over 400 OPS uh, on base percentage, rather, and an 860 OPS, 6'3", 170. Venice Willem, the kid might be good. Who knows? But listen. You guys let me know what you think about all of this down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. Listen, I would have loved this to be Juan Soto, but unfortunately it isn't. It isn't yet. We, we might have to wait a little bit on the Soto front. We just have to see even if the Padres are even willing to trade him. We don't even know that yet. Everybody and their mother in the baseball world is saying Soto will be moved. Everybody and their mother in the baseball world is saying, hey, Yankees are a great fit. Yankees might want to part with the pieces for Juan Soto. Listen. I'll let you guys know. I'll keep you guys updated. Thank you guys so much for watching. We have channel memberships in the description if that interests you. This is Joe, and until next time, adios, Jake Bowers. And to all of our channel members here at The Shift, thank you guys. It means a lot.